Welcome everybody, New Year's Eve vlog and well, Happy New Year. I'm recording this just a few hours before New Year because I'm a major YouTubing nerd. So in this video, I'm gonna go over the top three skills that a freelance developer needs to know in 2018. Skill set number one, you have to understand the core of programming. The big mistake that noobs, noob developers, doesn't matter what type of development you want to do, whether you want to do app development for smartphones, whether you want to do web app development, whether you want, whether you want to get into AI, machine learning, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Doesn't matter the type of development. The big mistake that noobs or people want to get into is that they think that they should build projects. Building projects is a necessary step, but before that you have to do Number one, you have to learn the core of programming, which is the foundations. I call it the core. Other people might say it's the fundamentals, the foundations. Why do you need to learn this? Well, practically, when you learn your core well, all of a sudden, all those project-based tutorials that you see on YouTube or anywhere else, all of a sudden, they're so much easier to learn with, to work with, because most of those walkthrough videos, those projects, they don't actually teach you the core of the programming. They don't tell you what's actually going on. They show you how to do something, but they don't teach you why. And without the why, the how is useless. As I said in other videos, if you just learn how to play 10 songs, if you were learning to play guitar, you're not going to be a musician. You're just going to know how to play those 10 songs. To learn how to be a great guitarist, you have to understand chords, chord progressions, flat, sharp minor chords, major chords, you have to understand uh, the different, well, what the different chords are, you have to understand the scales, blues, jazz, etc, 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 etc. Same thing with programming. You have to understand the foundations around the languages because all these programming languages and these coding languages, coding languages are like HTML and CSS, programming languages, well, Programming languages are coding languages too, but they're programming languages in that program, programming languages allow you to put decision-making capability into your code. Anyhow, all these languages are basically controls. Think of them as levers or controls that allow you to control the underlying infrastructure that uh, you're manipulating, you're controlling with these languages. These languages are basically you giving commands to your computer in a language that they understand to do things like build a shopping cart system, build an AI, build a user inter interface, add a button, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So if you don't understand what this foundation is, you don't understand this core, then you're gonna have a much more difficult time learning how to program. So first thing you should do is master the core because A, it's gonna supercharge the speed at which you learn how to become a professional developer and B, it's going to make you a much better developer in the end as opposed to you fishing around trying to figure things out. Now, in my career as a decoder, when I started in the 1990s, I started off sort of learning on a need to nerd basis. But when I got wiser, I started diving deep into the core of the languages, understanding that infrastructure I just talked about. And what happened when I went that direction, my ability to write code just went skyrocketed. So I would walk into a particular job and I would look at the job and I would say, okay, we're going to use this language here. We're going to use this framework there. I wasn't somebody who was saying, I'm a Java programmer or I'm a JavaScript coder or I'm a PHP guy or I'm a Python guy. No, I was a developer and a developer who could look at any language and use it to do the job. The job would dictate the language even if I had to learn a new one. Here's the great thing. You learn the core, Learning a new programming language will be like this. Tip number two for developers, freelance developers, in 2018. You have to develop good communication skills. Written skills, write concise, clean sentences, good emails, good letters, so that people can get to the point of the email that you're sending them, so they can understand the proposals that you're sending them very, very quickly. In the business world, nobody wants to read 10 pages or even one page. You want to get to it quickly. You've got to learn how to write well. Great communication skills are very, very important. Great, or, great 
verbal skills, I don't want to say oral skills, you know, great verbal skills are also important because, again, your ability to communicate to the non-nerds, the business people, the suits, your ability to communicate to them in non-nerd words is going to put you way above the nerds who spent their time learning some new framework but they have no demand for at that particular time. Your ability to communicate to the non-nerds, to the suits, is going to pay off huge. So develop good communication skills as well. Tip number three for the freelance developer in 2018. You have to start working on marketing, understanding how to market yourself. If you're a freelancer, you are essentially selling yourself as a skilled professional. So you have to learn to market yourself on the web. That's where most people get their information. So how do you do that? First thing you got to do is build a good website. Now, if you're selling back-end developer skills, doing the back-end programming, you don't necessarily need to have a super beautiful site, but you need to have a site that looks pro. What you can do if you have no design skills is to get a good template, very simple, very clean, and just have a good logo, some very nice images, and again, keep it simple, keep it pithy so that people don't get bored reading your site. Now here's another tip related to that. Whatever you do, don't have a dark background on your site with light colored text. You have to have a whitish or white background, like an eggshell white is best, with dark text. Don't do the reverse unless you have a nightclub, but you're not, you don't have a nightclub. You're a developer, you're a freelance developer. You have to have a whitish background, off-white because stark white is just too harsh with black text or dark text, much easier to read and your conversions are going to be much, much higher. Trust me on that one. It's a big mistake a lot of people make. Dark backgrounds with light colored text is a big no-no. should be the reverse. And there you have it. For 2018, as a freelance developer, doesn't matter what type of developer you are, you need to, number one, understand the core. That's the how and the why. You need that why. Number two, you need to develop good communication skills, both written and spoken. And finally, you need to start learning how to market yourself online. Website, number one, also social media. I should have mentioned that before. Social media as well, have a good presence. Keep it up to date. doesn't have to be furious, but a weekly article, weekly comment. Article, article could be nice and simple, uh, just a few paragraphs etc, etc, etc. I can get more into this in other vlogs, but these are the three skill sets. Again, this is based on my 20 years experience as a developer, somebody who hires developer, who's been hired as a developer, who uh, works with several companies, who've hired people. I hired developers myself. I just said that. Anyway, you get the idea. There you go. Have yourself a great 2018. Happy New Year. Don't drink and drive. I know it sounds cliche, but don't ruin yourself for some stupid night of partying. Take an Uber or a Lyft or whatever if you decide you're going to drink tonight. That's it. Bye-bye.